Hello all, Jamie Rogers here from Craftmania, and today I'm bringing you a brand new bundle that's just launched. I'm going to be honest with you, it's been a while since we've bought you a bundle video to our socials and to our YouTube channel, and it takes me a minute to find things that I really like to use, and when I see this was coming out, I was like, that's it, that's the, the next project I want to work on, that's the next thing I want to do, and as soon as I've got time, this is the bundle I'm going to bring because I really have fallen in love with it. Now, it's not a brand new concept. We've bought you one of these before. It proved incredibly, incredibly popular, and I have a feeling this one's gonna do the same. We bought you a little while ago a collection of Sue Wilson embossing folders and stencils that were all floral designs. We do still just about have some stock of that bundle available. So if you look at today's one and think, well, actually, I'd like an everyday one to go alongside this one, then there is a bundle for you already. I will link that video so you can see the bundle and the video in the description to this video. But today we are looking at the brand new release from Sue Wilson of embossing folders and matching stencils. Now, if you're somebody who hasn't yet tried that concept and I'm not too sure why, why do I need stencils to go with embossing folders? What's that about? Don't worry, I will show you why shortly. I've got a few little mini demos lined up to just show you some of the techniques that I've done on the projects I'm also going to share with you. I've also done about 15, 16 cards, so hopefully give you some inspiration as well. But let's run through these quickly before we delve into demos and seeing the samples. Let's actually have a little look at what we're looking at. So our first design is the Jingle Bells design, and this is the stencil. I've started off showing you the stencils because it's nice for you to see them coloured in, because when we get onto the matching folder, you just see them in grey, really. And it's like much nicer to see what you can achieve. So the idea here is that you are going to emboss the, the embossing folder, take out the embossed panel, and then lay on top your stencil and colour it. Now, I'm talking about the bundle today, but of course, all of the items that we're showing you are available individually. And you can buy just the stencil, just the folder. And actually, buying the two as a set is a great way to go as well. So if you don't fall in love with all of the designs, there are smaller options for you. And if you just like to stencil or just like to emboss, then you could do that too. So we've asked stencil, two stencils in this one to line up and match in and colour. And then, of course, we have for you the matching embossing folder. Moving on to our next design. This one's beautiful. This is our winter foliage. Now, I really like this one because I think it's one which works as a great background to bring in all of your other elements. So whether that's your sentiment stamps, your sentiment dies, maybe you've got my Rodney the Snowman stamp that you want to cut round and add on here, or the Father Christmas stamp, or just one of our circle sayings that goes in the middle there really well, and I'll show you that in one of the samples. Lots of options. Again, with this one, you've got two stencils to play with. That is, of course, going to line up and go over the top of our lovely folder. I'm going to try and bring this in without the glare. I apologise. There's a bit of flash going on today, isn't there? But we've got our lovely folder that also matches in perfectly. Moving on, we have got this one. This is gorgeous. This one, I believe, so far has been our most popular one. These launched literally just a few days ago, not long ago at all. Um, but this one, I think, has been, been sort of flying out the door. And you can see why. It's beautiful. It's not my favourite, though. I love it. I love all of them. But it's not my favourite. We'll get to that in a minute. This one is the poinsettias and baubles. So again, beautiful poinsettia garland and hanging baubles. Brings in quite a lot of colour options with this one. Loads of ways we can play with that one. So again, you've got your stencils and of course you have got your matching folder to work with that. Then lastly, and this is, I think this one's my favourite. I really like foliage one, but I think this one just pips it to the post slightly. This is our Robin and Snowflakes. I love the designs of the snowflakes. I'm going to bring that in slightly closer so you can see them, just because I don't want you to miss out on the incredible detail that's been put into them. And they emboss like a dream, they're beautiful. Then we've got our lovely Robin down the bottom here, sat on the branch. Again, really delicate, really pretty. And of course, we have got our matching embossing folder to work with this too. Of course, you can use them both individually if you wish to. I will say the stencils are missing a bit if you just use the stencils on their own. So if you're looking at them and thinking, well, I don't really do stenciling, but I love the folders, folders stand alone perfectly on their own if that's what you'd like to do. But of course, really, the most options, the most versatility is going to be about buying the bundle. So let's talk pennies, shall we? How much is this little set going to cost us? So we had four stencils and four matching embossing folders. The recommended retail price for this collection, which I actually think is quite impressive, to be honest, is 69 dollars 
there's a whole lot of stuff there for your pennies and it's going to give you a lot of versatility and incredibly speedy creations and i'll talk to you more about that in a moment but you can build with these and create cards with them very very quick but here at craft mania we like to give you the best possible deal that we can this works out i believe and i'm going by memory here i think it's just over 20 percent, slightly over 20 percent off and it brings your bundle price down to 54.99 now, if you've not watched any of our Craft Mania videos before and you're brand new to the channel, you might not know this, but your PMP is completely free if you live in the UK anytime you spend over five pounds with us at Craft Mania. So, of course, 54.99, that's going to qualify for your free PMP. So you don't have to pay a penny. You know, and, and I often ramble on about this. PMP is vital. It's the bit that gets it from us at point A to you at point B. And a lot of you live a long way away from us, especially when we talk international, but we'll get to that in a moment. So it's a crucial part that we have to do. We have to post it to you. But who wants to pay for that? Who wants to pay out your hard earned pennies on a service to just get it from A to B when we could be using that same money to be spending on other crafty goodies? So, hence here at Craft Mania, anytime you spend over £5, you're going to get that free PMP. We stock around 10,000 items on the Craft Mania website. So, even if this isn't your cup of tea and you want to go and have a little look around, all of those other items, exactly the same offer for you. Spend over £5, get that free PMP. Internationally, we can't go quite as good as free. And that's because international shipping is hellishly expensive. But what we do do is we cap it for you at £10. So the most you will pay to receive this bundle anywhere in the world is £64.99. That's still less than your recommended retail price. Now, I don't think for a second we're going to find it cheaper than £10, to be honest with you, because international shipping is ridiculous. But if we did, depending on the countries, and it does vary quite a lot, we will refund you that difference. So the most you will pay is £10. If it's over £10, which to be honest, 99% of the time it is, we here at Craft Mania pay that for you. And it's our way of trying to, again, help you with that PMP cost. Because we know that you're going to want these goodies around the world. We send an awful lot to Australia, New Zealand, America, several different parts of Europe. We try to make it as best we can so that you're not paying a fortune for your PMP. So again, capped at £10. If you have any questions about the shipping and handling of PMP, however you know it as, pop onto the website, have a little look under the customer service tab, and it will tell you all about it. The website, which I haven't yet even told you because I'm terrible at my job, is www.craftmaniacrafts.com. There is, of course, a link in the description, and the link will take you through to a page which is dedicated for this video. And I tell you that at this stage because you'll find these in a few places. You'd find them under Sue Wilson and the Designer. You will find them under embossing folders where we do our embossing folders and our stencils a little section for that you will find them um, on our new page for instance but if you follow the link which is in the description it will take you to the designated page you can also find that under our youtube heading but if you go to that page not only will you find these not only will you find the bundle i was talking about you will also find everything i'm going to share with you on the cards and by everything i mean ribbons bows cardstock gems everything i can think of I will put on that page for you. And that's just to save you going through 10,000 items trying to find all the different bits that we're talking about. So now you've seen the bundle and you know your bundle price, let's talk about singles because that's important too. So your singles, these should be £9.50 for your stencils and that's the recommended retail price. These are on offer as well at £8.08p. And your embossing folders, these two are on offer. So if you'd like to go for them individually, you absolutely can do. These should be 7 99 is their recommended retail price. And we have these on offer for you for £6.79. Now you might choose, of course, you can buy them individually and both of them would qualify for free UK PMB. So even if you just want one folder sent to your door for £6.79, no problem. But of course, you might pick actually out of the four designs one you really like the look of, or you might wish to build your own bundle between the Christmas and the everyday ones. That's, of course, absolutely fine too. But if you wanted to go for the matching set, your recommended retail price should be $17.49. But if you buy both, the combined price for those is just $14.87. They're listed separately, so don't go looking for them together. We haven't done that for you. They're in individual. But it's nice for you to know when watching this video, if you do just wish to pick one set and have that matching stencil and embossing folder combo, that's going to run to run to 14.87 instead of 17.49 for you. So there's savings to be made all across the board. It's just down to how much you'd like to go for. To be honest with you, 
I have a feeling that once you see these working, you're going to fall in love with the whole bundle and it's going to be the bundle you want to go for. But with no further ado, let's uh, jump in and have a little look at how they work and what you can create with them. So let's start off by actually looking at one of the embossing folders and showing you how that's going to run through your machine for you. So if you've never seen an embossing folder before, this is always quite important. What we've got here is a plastic folder, folds in half, and on one side we have got the negative sides, the indentations, and on the other side we have the positive side. We're going to take our piece of card and we're going to put that into the centre and we're going to send this from our machine. Now of course, depending on the type of card, you're going to get varying effects. And uh, you could be using speciality card, it could be mirror cards, it could be pearl cards. There's a whole host of different types of cards you could be using. There is also, of course, a whole host of different machines you could be using. So you might notice my plates are rather large. I am using a Sizex Big Shot. And I mention this because it's nice for you to know what plates to use. So every machine is different, and I can't tell you the definitive um, formula for every sandwich you're going to work with for every machine because they do vary and even when we talk to you about 3D embossing folders these are slightly thicker than your traditional folders and most brands even the same brand the folders do vary slightly so it is about playing around with finding what stack you need for your machine but I'll give you a little hint with my one as I say I'm using a Big Shot Plus yeah, I've got the right name. I always fear at that point I've called it the wrong name. I tend to rename everything something it shouldn't be. For mine, I'm going to use the largest plate, the big white one at the bottom. I'm then going to bring in this plate, uh, which is, if I turn it over so you can see, a sort of tealy blue one. I don't know why I've got it the other way up, but we'll stick with it. Then I'm going to bring in for us that embossing folder and our piece of card located within it. I'm then going to bring in a cutting plate. Now, if I was cutting a die, I would have two of these and I would use both of these with the stack I've created to cut the die. So basically what I've done is I've removed this amount of plastic from in my stack so that I've now got the same amount of pressure because obviously the folder is a lot thicker from what the die is. So we'll now send that through the machine and let it do its magic. Now, if you've never seen an embossing folder before, prepare to be amazed because this is where the true magic happens. What will happen is the positive side of the folder will push down on the card and push it into the negative side of the folder and it will in turn emboss our image for us, which is just amazing. You know, there's several things in craft that it doesn't matter how long you've been playing around with them. I've been crafting paper crafting for 24 years and this is one of the things that still blows my mind i think it's just magical that you can send a piece of card through a machine and it comes out with such depth such texture such an amazing effect to it and it looks like i've spent absolutely years trying to do something to create that and i haven't i've just sent it through a machine and when i talk about being in the industry for this many years I remember before embossing folders were a thing, before die cutting machines were even really a major thing. They used to, you know, the old CZX machines, big red um, box with a handle, and then they brought out some metal folders, but that was getting on a little bit. Um, but before that, you would have a brass stencil and a light box, and you'd sit and trace your design, and it would be one dimension, it wouldn't have this amount of dimension, and um, it would take forever and I would always end up piercing it somewhere along the line and ruining it, or not ruining it, but having a, a mission to cover it. So now to have these folders that we can just simply pop our card and send it through, still many years on, still blows my little mind. Now, of course, not only can we send our card through this and create this effect, we could, of course, load our folder with gilding polishes or inks or ink pads or, or whatever medium you wish to to create letterpress effects and that's something I love doing and can be really really effective but of course these aren't just about creating that embossed effect they're about having the ability to line up and add on with our stencils so let's bring in another one so this one was and I can never remember names of anything so let's have a little look because you're gonna want to know aren't you rightly so so let me find it so the one we was just playing with, that was the poinsettia and the baubles, to give you an idea. But we'll place it off to one side, and I'm going to bring in a sample that I've done, or a piece of card, really, that I've already embossed with the winter foliage. So let me just find that in my little stack here. I've got a few here that I wanted to share with you. And then we're going to bring in our matching stencils. So the stencils literally do match up and go over the top of where they need to be. Now, on each stencil, it's got engraved in it, stencil one or stencil two up in the corner 
I, I, you can see I never actually go in the right order. I don't do the right order in anything. Why would I do it with stencils? Um, but it is good because of that stencil being etched in this side tells me that I'm working on the right side of this. So I'm not trying to match it up from the wrong side, wondering where it needs to be. It's not a biggie. It's just going to save you a couple of seconds if you're anything like me. Most of the designs are obviously very clear to see where we're going because we want the right places for our um, stencil to go over. So it's usually quite easy, but it's a little hint to give you an idea. Once we've got that in place, we can start thinking about our colouring. So again, we could be bringing in a whole host of different mediums to colour with. This could be texture paste if we wanted it to. It could be misters. It could be loads of things. It's down to whatever you wish to be working with. But I quite like working with oxide inks. So I thought we'd start off with one of our lighter ones. This is Bundle Sage. And we'll add a little bit of this over the top. Now I'm going to be honest with you. At Craft Mania, we are very low on stock on Distress Oxides um, and Distress Inks. Our supplier has been a bit slow in topping their, theirs up at their end. And we have a bit of a, a lull in our supply, to be honest. We simply don't have anyone to get them from. Um, but as soon as we can get them all back in stock, we will do. But we don't help ourselves because, of course, us being us, they're on an amazing offer. I believe they've got £2 off, if I remember rightly, the recommended retail price for the pads. So they do go incredibly quickly. So I don't think we help keep them in stock because they're priced so wonderfully. And with our free PMP because they're over £5, a lot of people just come in and buy a couple of pads. And um, obviously that, that keeps our stocks quite low especially at times when we can't get hold of them as easily. But if you do want to have a little look at them, I will pop a link for those as well. And I'll pop a link onto the page on the website for today's video so that you can find them easily. Now, of course, you can do lots of different things. I've confessed this on many, many videos. I'm never going to tell you I'm the best colorist because it would be a lie. I'm really, really not. I tend to just sort of throw color on and hope for the best. Um, I'm going to do exactly the same with these. I just bring in different shades and build them up in different areas. I know many of you are colouring whizzes when it comes to blending and creating backgrounds and bits. And you can bring all of those techniques into this style of creation if you wish to. Um, you know, it's great if you can, but if you can't, like me, just have a little play. It's going to look lovely because of we've masked off all that other area. We know it doesn't have to be overly complicated. We're going to end up with a stunning effect. Could have just been done in one colour. We don't even have to go in for all these different shades if we don't wish to, like when we're building the greens. It doesn't have to be that complicated. But it's nice to show you some tone going through them. So when we take this one off, we can see that all of the foliage, or most of the big parts of the foliage, I should say, are nice and coloured and looking rather yummy. Now, again, we can leave it at this point. We don't have to do more, but we have our secondary stencil which is actually stencil number one. We're going to bring this in and we're going to layer this over the right area to mask off where we need to be. And we're going to anchor that down again with a bit of stencil tape. And we're going to bring in this time festive berries. And we'll do exactly the same again. Now this one does have two pine cones located within it. So I'm going to avoid those areas. I'm not too worried if I get a little bit of red on them because we're going to be working with another oxide ink, which will cover over the top of it. It's one of the things I love most about oxides is the way that they layer and you still get that colour come through from the, the top shade as such. So it's not the end of the world. Um, if you was using a different type of ink, maybe a dye ink, you could certainly mask those two off and come back to them in a moment. But for mine, I'm not too panicky. So we'll go over those, just highlighting all of the red areas. And you could choose to do different colours if you want to. The areas, what's quite nice is the areas are actually quite far away. So if you wanted to bring in different shades, again, absolutely easy to do if you want to. We're then going to bring in a smaller stipple brush and we're going to use our gathered twigs this time. And we're going to pick some of this up and we're going to go in just for those pine cones. And I like to stipple over these because I find that then it gets a bit more texture to them than just applying the ink with a blending brush. But again, obviously you can if you prefer. It's also nice because we're in a smaller area, so we don't have to worry about covering too much of a distance or too much of an area. Once we have added that shade down, we can then remove our stencil. Now again, so many options appear when you're working with this style of product because before we take this away, if we had a wish to, we could have bought in something like gemstones texture paste. 
and we could have added some red glitter to the berries or we could have gone for a clear texture based and added that over the top of these knowing that then we're going to remove this and we have really glossy shiny berries that can look really cool and if you've got a bit more time and you want to play around bringing in texture base and different bits like that again it's a stencil there's no reason why you can't do that that builds up our background and this is why i said earlier this is one of my favorites that's such an easy effective way to create this and yet so beautiful it looks like i've spent a lot of time making that working on it and i think we're like five minutes into actually coloring it and it's complete and i've been yabbering on as we've been doing that so it doesn't have to be that complicated it can be quicker and simpler if you want it to be but to me i think that's a really lovely effect now I like to give you more than one option. Um, obviously we can use the stencils as they're intended, we can colour them as we wish to. There are other ways we can colour embossing folders and this is one of my favourites. This is our Night Sky Navy from our Elite cardstock. And I'm going to bring in a white ink pad. This is a brilliant ink pad but it could be many different types of white ink pad. It doesn't have to be this one. But this is what I like to show you about how we don't have to stick to the stencils we don't have to stick to what would be predicted to create with this. And I find this such a lovely effect. Again, if you've watched many of my videos, you will have noticed I love white and blue together. And that's hence why I'm creating this, as you can see it. But this could be a whole host of different colours. Again, cardstock and inks. Play around with your oxides, play around with your different types of inks, make up some really lovely effects. But we don't have to just use it on the positive. That's our embossed side because it's textured. We can do very similar on the reverse and we can end up with a really beautiful debossed effect. Now, another technique we can do with a debossed effect is bring in our texture paste and put it over the top of it. And this is what we class as grouting. You've probably seen me go on about this before because, again, it's one of my techniques I really like doing when it comes to embossing folders. But if you take your texture paste, put it at the top and bring it down with a spatula or one of our lovely... Um, tools for applying texture paste. I forget what they're called, but the big white plastic like scrapers, they're great because they're going to leave the texture paste in all of the openings and take it off from the top of the cardstock. And that really looks quite lovely and can give you a completely different effect to the back of your folder. And it will just fill the indents. Again, it could just be a clear texture paste. So you could have colored these, then applied the clear over the top. But to me, that's so pretty. And if you wanted to, you could literally make this the front of your card and have that open to the inside and have that on the, on the inside to match what's on the outside because that's the joy of having the emboss go on both sides and still looking really pretty. Now, another technique we can do on the reverse, and this again doesn't need the stencils, but if you've got them, it can help you line bits up. But for this part, we're going to be quite messy. This is one of the cards I actually teased on Facebook. One of the techniques I teased on Facebook, I put up and said how I'd um, been colouring these. And this was one I'd really fallen in love with because I do really love these folders. And I got a couple of questions about how I'd achieved it. So I thought it would be good just to cover it because sometimes it's nice to see how these things come together. So you can see we're working on the back. We're infilling the debossed areas and we're not worrying at all about going over the edges. Now, we don't want to go off into the next colour. So if you, you know try to stay roughly within the area you need it to be, but it doesn't have to be too precise. And we can do the same here with the green. We can say that that's our leaf and we can bring that in and put that in place. And we can go down into this area, do exactly the same again. Just roughly in filling where you need it to be. And I'm trying to remember the name for this. This has a name and I forgot what it is. It's not my technique. Full disclosure, not, not my technique. Um, I'll remember it in a minute. I always remember these things once I've finished filming them. I never remember them when I'm doing them. But it's a lovely technique where you then bring in a black ink pad. So I'm going to use my Panther Black Quick Dry Pigment Ink Pad, mostly because it's quick dry, so that's great. I don't have to worry about it drying in between layers. And then we just rub this over the top. Again, you can do this with a brayer if you prefer. If you don't want to get any colour into the sort of indentations, a brayer is a great idea. You can pick the ink up on the brayer, roll that over the top, and that will work for you in a very similar way. Another reason I've chose to use my inks is because they are alcohol marker friendly. So if I wanted to, I could have done this first and then done my colouring with no fear that the alcohol markers are going to contaminate what I'm creating. Now I've chosen it to do it this way as well because I also wanted you to see how beautiful this is without any colour. 
And I'll bring that up so you can see it slightly better. But isn't that stunning? Doesn't that look beautiful? Just that shading of the ink going through to the under layers is really, really beautiful. Now, any area that you don't like the white patchiness, just carry on building up with your ink if you wish to. But actually, I quite like that. I think it brings in that more sort of vintage style to it. If you do this, and like I can see here, I've missed just the tip there of that um, leaf. Not a problem, because we're working with an ink which doesn't mind working with alcohol markers. If I go in and add down that green now, we're not contaminating, we're not mixing, we're not ending up blending that black ink into the green, we're still sticking to the green. If you accidentally go over an area that you wished you hadn't, so like this bauble for instance, pushed a bit heavier here, I've gone in slightly to the layers below. Use something like a metallic marker. This is uh, just one I've got laying around. But if you bring in a metallic marker, you can colour over the top of your black ink too. So maybe you want to add in the threads that are hanging the baubles. Maybe you do want to go in and add that bauble back in place. Maybe you want to go in and add the middles to the flowers. Whatever it is you want to do, you can go ahead and do it by just using an ink that's going to cover over the top of that black. Again, a white gel pen, coloured gel pens, they work a treat too. So there's lots of ways you can layer up with those as well. Now, of course, the card I'm working with, this is our polar white cardstock. When we use alcohol markers on it, it might show through if we've been a bit heavy handed. So do bear that in mind when we're talking about the reverse of it. Um, again, not something that tends to worry me because I tend to layer mine onto other items. But it's good that you know that's happening. Then for a lot of my other ones, and again, just working with them, colouring them, I've just been using a selection of alcohol markers. And usually when I film a video, people ask me what alcohol markers do I use? And I'm going to be honest with you, I have a collection that goes back a long time. So I've got some of the, what I class as the new format Spectrum Noir. Uh, why are they octagons, hexagons? Octagons, I never know the difference. Um, but the, the sort of shaped barrels. I've also got some of the original ones that are more like the square ones. I've got this brand, I don't even know where I got them from or when, and then I've got some Graphmaster ones. It doesn't really matter which ones they are, uh, they're just a whole collection of alcohol markers. I've never been um, lucky enough, I suppose, to go and buy the big posh brands of them, but maybe one day. But to be honest, quite happy, as I said at the earlier part of the video, I colour a bit like a two-year-old, so I'm never too worried if my colouring is brilliant. It's just about finding ways for me to colour, that I like the end result and I find that I can do so many techniques with alcohol markers and inks that I'm happy with. So let's show you some inspiration, shall we? So let's just check these because I've forgot the names already. So it'll be nice to be able to show you which one we're on about as we're going through them. So we're going to show you the samples for the poinsettia baubles to begin with. Now, all of the samples will, of course, be in using a mixture of the stencils and the embossing folders. That really does make it brilliant to have both. So as we go through them, just remember that there's a mixture of both, although I'm laying out and showing you the stencils, of course, with the emboss this one. So this one's just coloured with our metallic markers. Um, again, I'll put them on that relevant page for you on the website so you can see them. But they've got a lovely shimmer to them, simply layered with some of our Elite cardstock and some Miro card. Very quick, very easy. This is the bit I haven't told you. I'm about to share with you 16 different cards. Now, when I planned that I was going to do this video and I'd see this product launch and I thought I've got to do this for a video I thought this is going to take me all weekend because of usually I want to do like 15 cards that's going to take me a while I'm not a quick crafter it'll take me a bit of time I did about two hours in front of the tv last night and I colored in six panels knowing that when I went downstairs and got to my craft room today I could start coloring um, layering them up and turning them into cards so I've got six panels done in about two hours, just coloured. Today, I've managed to put in about four hours, maybe five hours, and I've completed all of these cards. So seven hours in total to end up with 16 cards. This might just be me, and you might be sitting there thinking, what takes him so long? Um, but if you're like me, and normally spend an hour on a card, that works out at less than a half hour per card. And I mention this because when we're talking about Christmas and we're doing our batch making and we're trying to do things possibly slightly quicker to go to our craft fairs or to give away to the hundreds of people that we have to do Christmas cards for, sometimes it's nice to know that we can do them quite quickly if we need to. You know, we want to spend the time, we want the great effects for the ones that we love. I feel this is giving you both. It's got great effects, lovely detail, but actually we can achieve them quite quickly. 
This one's really lovely. I put this one up and teased as well last night when I sat in front of the um, TV colouring. And I say last night, well, by the time you see this, it'll probably be a couple of days ago, so sorry. Um, but uh, I put this one up. Really like this. This is our Pebble Grey Elite cardstock. And I've just coloured it with alcohol markers and metallic markers, gone back in with a white gel pen and added in some detail on, over the top. And this is the joy of all these embossed details. If you want to go in with a gold gel pen, a silver gel pen, a white gel pen, so easy to hook out all of them bits and really make those designs pop. And I think that's really lovely. This one I was yabbering on as we went past it, but of course it's done very much how the demo was I just show you. So debossed, embossed, embossed to give you a few ideas. Then we move on and I'll show you some samples using Jingle Bells. So this is our Jingle Bells as we see it in the pack. This is what you can actually create with it. And this is another nice thing to mention. These folders, and it might be my machine, so I can't guarantee because folders normally do leave quite a mark around them due to the pressure they apply. But I found with these ones, I didn't get too many lines around them. So I've chose to leave more area down the bottom and add on my stamped image, which is with love this Christmas. And just stretch that panel out slightly further, which is quite nice. This one's been coloured with a mixture of inks and pens and a few metallic markers as well. You'll also notice, uh, is it this one? No, it isn't. I'm going to tell you something that's on it and it isn't. It's this one. I knew it was the bell somewhere. I can see it now. If I give them both a wiggle, you can probably tell you what I'm about to, or see what I'm about to tell you. On this, this one and on a couple of the others, I've also added some additions with our Oakwood glitter brush pens. If you've not fell in love with these or you've not seen them, I absolutely love these. Our DT did a whole host of different projects you can create with them on our blog. They're still on there if you'd like to go back and have a little read of them. But these pens are so much fun. And I call them pens. They're literally like a water brush um, with a, a proper brush nib. If I give that a squidge down, hopefully you might see it fan out like a brush. And then in here, we've got a liquid form, which is a really sparkly color with glitter. And you just squidge at the barrel for that ink to come down and go down to your brush. And then you can go in and you can paint in really nice details with them and hook out areas if you want, or add in complete color into the troughs or to the tops of your embossed areas. I love these. They're just such a lovely little sparkle. And I, I'm not always one that goes for tons of glitter, um, even with Christmas cards. But I like the way, like with this one, you get that glitter sit on the top there. So I've used the coral, if I remember rightly, from the glitter brush pens to go round the bow and these sort of extra pieces. And I've used the green, which is emerald green, to do some of the leaves as well. And then there's a silver one, which is the one we were just playing with, that I've used on the bells. And then I've added in more details of gel pens just to sort of bring those to life a little bit further. But again, very easy to do, very fun to do nothing complicated and again working with our elite cardstock in pebble grey for the top one romantic red and then our gold mirror card and then on to our last sample so these three are all very similar i, I found something i loved and i stuck with it i think this one's very beautiful so i, I was sort of taken with how they looked again just colored in mixture of inks mixture of pens gel pens glitter brush pens metallic markers a little bit of everything really Bought together with that one, pop the stencil on, do a bit of colouring and then add in more details and layer up your effects really. Then we move on to our next one. So next up we are going to look at our Robin and Snowflakes. Now I've mentioned earlier this, I think this one's probably my favourite. I really like this design. These snowflakes truly are beautiful and when you see them actually embossed, let's bring in one of these. So this is where it started for me using the white ink over the top of the card on today's samples. So this is a piece of black card. This is our Raven Black uh, Elite card. And again, white ink just rubbed straight over the top. But look how prominent and beautiful those snowflakes look. I'm so in love with them. I also felt like, you know, you don't normally look at a folder and think about how you're going to break your things down. But bring in Rodney the Snowman and place him over the top of that Robin and you're going to have a completely different effect. Bring in Father Christmas from our stamps, put him over there. Bring in our classic poinsettia die set and add that on the corner. You know, there are so many different ways that if you don't necessarily want the robin on every panel, you could add that detail over the top and create a completely different effect. And I love that because although it's already done for us, it's quick, it's simple. There are so many different ways we could take that off to create different effects. Now, sticking with a very similar effect, this is something I wanted to share with you. This is the Raven Black Elite card with the white ink. 
This is a Night Sky Navy. And I really found there was quite a difference, although the cards are very similar, but just playing around with the color in which we build that white up on top of can give you quite different effects. If you do wish to add more color, so this time I've added some color using the stencils, then come in with some pens. I've also used our gemstones, Heliodor, which is the gold from the texture base. And I've brought it out onto my finger and just rubbed that over the top of some of the snowflakes and around the wings on our lovely Robin and over the ferns, just to bring in that little gold sparkle as well, which is really lovely and pretty to do because it is quite a raised area, so very easy to add them details on. Then moving on, another one again, this one was all stencils and then I've just added in a few white dots with a gel pen, I believe, by memory. Um, but again, builds up so quickly, so easily, so lovely. And it's just such a beautiful effect once created. And of course, and I don't know if I've shown you this, but you can see how easy these are. So this is the stencil for this one. Just pop that down, line it up, go through it how we did, and that's the effect you're going to get. And they've also thought of everything, like the Robin, you have the first one to put in place to do his wings and his body. You then have the next panel to bring down to do the red areas for the robin. And I just thought that was really an eye for detail and making it as simple as it could be for us to work with them and create these lovely effects. Now this is the last sample for the Robin, and this time I've just played with inks, to be honest with you. I bought in a blue oxide ink, and I placed that all over the top of it. I then wanted to tone it down slightly, so I bought in the Elephant Grey from the Quick Dry Pigment inks, and put that over the top of that. And then I wanted to bring back the blue for the snowflakes, so I used the blue Emperor from the Quick Dry ink pads, and went over the top of that. Added in a bit of shading with a blending brush over the top, and then decided that I'd bring out some of the argentite which is the silver from the gemstones glitter texture base again on my finger just put a little bit down and then rubbed it over the top of these snowflakes to give you that sort of light sparkle effect that's really really pretty then moving on to our last one now this is the winter foliage oh, another one of my favorites honestly i could never pick things could i i'm terrible at this so winter foliage, this is what it looks like in the actual pack for your stencils. But when we bring in some samples, and I've got a few to share with you, I've got to be carried away with these. This one is very simple. Emboss it, flip it, use your elephant grey ink pad to go over the top of it and leave all of that recessed white showing through. Very quick, very simple. Could possibly have added a little sentiment on that one as well if you wanted. Um, but I actually just really like the white and the grey, something I really enjoy working with. Completely different bringing in quite a diffused colour scheme this time, working with the stencils to do some colouring, then bringing in the bundled sage from the oxide inks and blending that over the top to really tone it down. Then adding on the top of that our circle sentiments from our Merry Christmas, which come out in the essential set for Christmas dyes. Very similar, but slightly different. This time I've left this one without a sentiment because sometimes I think that it's quite elegant and quite posh to leave them blank. Reminds me a bit of a posh department store and then add more into the insert to sort of lay out the reasons and thoughts behind it. Again, blending in some inks, bringing in the chameleon green from the quick dry pigment inks for some of the green areas, building that one up and then just blending over the top of it to sort of tone it down slightly completely different but again from the same folder and stencil set again used both did some blending added on the stencils did some blending uh, then added some more blended color over the top of the bundled stage to just par them colors back slightly and then i've brought in the copper shine from the gilding polishes and brushed that over the top so you might pick up on that little hint of copper shining through so just playing really i know i sort of talk through these quite quickly but it's just playing it's not there isn't a one plus one equals two to create that effect necessarily. It's just playing around and seeing what you can create. And that's what I love with these styles. It's, you know, you look at that one folder and one stencil set, and we've got five different cards from that. And there's just so many more options we could go off and create. I just love it. There's, there's just so much choice. This one, very simple, embossed in white, laid on both stencils one at a time, went over the top using the black panther ink and a blending brush just to add in this monochrome effect. Added on a couple of poinsettias because I felt we were working with a foliage background. So bringing in some flowers to go on top of that worked really nicely. And again, just gives you a different color scheme and a different idea. And then here is the original panel I did, uh, of course, again, using that night sky navy and the white ink. But I think when you look through the collection of cards I've shared with you, 
you can really see how you can create such different styles and different effects with these without actually really doing anything that I would class as complicated. Everything is quite simple, quite easy, but yet very effective because so much of the work has been done for us. This ability to emboss this design or these designs is astounding. And then adding on the stencils to make our colouring so easy and effective and precise, to me, it's just a win-win situation. And I'm hoping that these are inspiring you because I have a feeling once you've got these in your stash, you're going to come up with so many ideas, so many ways, so many bits you're going to create with these that is going to make your Christmas cards for this year and many years to come truly remarkable. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and I didn't waffle on too long. Honestly, I, this is one of them products and one of these sort of things with so many techniques. I think I could stand and talk to you about them for absolutely days because there's just so many options and ways we could take these off and things we could do with them. And I know you're going to love them. I was just saying it, but I know you're going to love them. So if you have already fallen in love with these and would like to get hold of this bundle, and who could blame you if you have, then don't forget you can pop onto our website, which is www.craftmaniacrafts.com. You'll find the little YouTube bit at the top there. Give that a click and it'll go through and you'll see a picture of this little bundle. Give that a click and it will go through to a page and it will show you all of the bits we've been talking about. Um, the pens, the inks, the folders, obviously, the stencils, the ribbons, the gems, the card. It will all be there for you. So it's all in one place. No challenge having to find any bits. But if you do get stuck looking for anything, then let me know in the comments and I will certainly do my best to give you a link to go and find it. Now, of course, as I mentioned earlier, when we're shopping with us here at Craftmania, if you spend over five pounds, just five pounds, your UK PMP is completely free. We will not charge you a penny for your postage. If you live internationally, then of course we send to you. We send items all around the world every single day. Not a problem at all. Your international PMP is capped at just £10. If we find it cheaper than that, we will refund it for you. If it's more than that, which it usually is, we will pay that for you. Just trying to keep it as low and as fair as possible for everybody worldwide to get as much crafty goodies as they can and not spend money on PMP because of who wants to. It's the bit that we don't really get any enjoyment out of, isn't it? Now, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. As I mentioned, any questions, any comments, please let us know. We're always here to help you any way we can. Equally, if you've got these folders or when you get these folders, if you would like to share with us what you've been creating with them, then jump on over to our Facebook group because we would love, and I genuinely mean love, to see what you've been making with them. Our Facebook group is called Create with Craft Mania and Jamie Rogers. It's a closed group. There will be a couple of questions to answer. Nothing scary. Um, what are they? What's your favourite brand? Um, what do you like to do? And where did you find out about the page? I think is the just something along them lines. And then you just agree to our terms and conditions, which again is nothing scary. Um, it's completely free. You know, it's Facebook. There's, there's no charges, no nothing like that. Uh, but once you become a member to the group, you can share with us, you can see what we're doing, you can talk to us, you can ask us questions. There's also sneaky peeks and bits that go on in the group that we don't always get to share everywhere else. So it's lovely to have you in there. And it's just a really lovely community in which you can talk to us and ask us and our DT as many questions as you wish to. And it'd be great to have you as part of that too. Thank you so much for watching today. And I really look forward to seeing you all again very soon for our next video here at Craftmania. Please don't forget to subscribe, tap the bell to be notified so you don't miss it. See you soon.